let's say the last part really strong. Mother. Er. Okay. Heather Petrozini is teaching her first graders to read word endings. Because I've noticed on some of the students' assessments that they're consistently dropping S's and ED. Yeah. We need to make sure that as a group, we're looking at these endings, okay? After this shared reading lesson, the students will have the opportunity to practice their new skill of reading word endings. All right, I'm going to ask you to go choose your private reading, or go to your private reading spot right now. And the group I've been working with, we're going to meet back here at the back for today. While most of the class begins reading independently and practicing the new skill, Heather gathers three to six students into a teacher-led guided reading group. Through assessments, Heather's learned that these students need more guided support with word endings. So she's gathered the students together to address their specific student needs. Heather selects all of her guided reading groups based on assessments and observations because she knows assessments help her best understand her students' strengths and needs. And with those needs in mind, she can determine what lessons to teach and which students to group together. Guided reading groups can be formed based on literacy levels, building background knowledge, word work, and reading strategies. The groups will be flexible and change frequently as student needs change. Guided reading can be used regardless of the student population or student reading levels. Guided reading is a teaching best practice. Heather always prepares for each individual guided reading lesson. First, she'll choose a text for the students to read. The text will support the lesson's objective and provide a scaffold for the students as they practice. The text will provide just the right amount of challenge for the students and not frustrate them. But it took a long time to get to the point where I knew which book to use. Um, the first couple years, I would go to the book room and pull out big book after big book and think, I don't know what to do with this book. Or, and now, the more I've gotten familiar with the books, the better. The e there's a greater ease that I can pick the books out with. Heather then gathers any learning tools she'll need. And as her last step in planning, she prepares an introduction to the text. So you guys are looking for a lot, huh? Now Heather is ready to begin teaching the guided reading lesson. She starts by introducing the text. We're going to read about Little Chimp again. And Little Chimp is going to learn how to eat some bugs. Ew! Heather's introduction includes a picture walk with the students. Mm, and look at that. The group looks at the cover, discusses illustrations, and makes predictions and connections to the text. Then Heather conducts a mini lesson that is tailor-made for these students. She's written words from the text on cards. She uses the cards to teach word endings. Now, what happens when we add an S? It becomes makes, makes, makes holes, chimps, chimps, sticks, eats, bugs. With the lesson complete, so Heather that? returns to the text. Book. Okay, we're going to take a look at the book. Before we even read it, I want to show you a couple things. Then Heather okay. goes through the book and points out any unfamiliar vocabulary. For example, in this text, the word termite was a challenge. And the bugs are called what? Termites. Termites. Then she sets termites. a purpose for the students reading the text. And I want you to read, Julian, I want you to read to find out how little chimp gets his termites to eat. As yeah. the students read independently, Heather moves around the group and listens to each student. She helps students who may need additional support. I think you went back and you fixed it. Way to go. This also gives Heather an opportunity to do a running record or take anecdotal notes on students' progress. He always finds things. After monitoring their progress, Heather asks the students to respond to what they've read. Well, you know what? We're going to write about those termites. Whoa. We're going to all write about them. Okay? Mm. All right, let's sit down on our bottoms. The written let's responses will show Heather how well the students understand what they've read. It's one more way that Heather assesses student learning during guided reading. Heather will take the information she's gained from her observations and assessments and use it to guide her selection of what to teach next time she meets with this guided reading group.